I will tell you only one highlight of my life, so the whole story. <clears throat> Can you imagine attending a school in a foreign country where you didn't know a word of English and you're surrounded by strangers? In fact, I lived that. I came to this country on October 24th, 1980, and I was 12 years old. <clears throat> I came to a tiny town called Huron, which is halfway between LA and San Francisco. This is the easiest way to uh, describe it. Two, two days later, my parents sent me to school. My cousin, everybody called him Dave, because people didn't know how to pronounce his name. So he took me to um, middle school. That's where he enrolled me, because I was 12, so I would fit in um, sixth, seventh grade. He took me to the school and got me registered that morning, handed me six periods scheduled, <coughs> showed me my first class, got me seated there, and he said, good luck and have a great day. Because <laughs> he was going to, uh, high, he was attending high school. But one thing he told me was, he said, once your first period ends, you just go back to the admission office and go see uh, Miss Lopez. So I would finish my first period, I would go back to the administration, I would just say hi to her, she would hold my hand, would take me to my second period. Because remember, I didn't speak a word of English. Not a, one single word of what was going on. A bunch of strangers. So second period ended, went back to the office, third period ended, fourth. Finally, at the end of the day, she took me to the bus stop, got me on the bus, and got home. When I went home, I told my parents, I never want to go back to school. Because <laughs> it was really, really scary. But thanks to Mrs. Lopez, that second day came, I went back to the office again. And she showed me my first period again. But after that, I made the courage and told myself, my parents are here because of us. Especially when you have come from a, a family of girls. In our country, it's looked like you have a huge burden because you've got to marry them, you've got to educate them. So my parents made a sacrifice and came here. By looking at my dad who worked in the field seven days a week, I told myself, I am going to be strong. So from that day forward on, I never looked back. Learned English six months, was top student, finished middle school, went to high school, Went to um, Fresno State, got my degree in accounting, and here I am, 33 years later, telling you this. But one thing I learned from Ms. Lopez is, I will never forget that lady, never, as long as I live. Because <clears throat> I was told this country, I was told by my parents, there's so many nice people there that it just, you will get through this. We know that you don't like the school, you don't like the country, but once you get used to it, and I'm glad I made the choice of staying here. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy to be here as a member of the Trust. <laughs>